We have five different slime experiments that we're gonna be testing out and they progressively get crazier. The last one might cost me my job. First up, we're gonna see if I can fit inside of a slime bubble. I'm very nervous about this. This is it. This is it. As high as we I trust can. you guys. And Whoa! Oh, no. What a fail! Ow! Oh. Christian! <laughs> how dare you! We're changing our strategy. Get in here, Dan. We need more hands. We're gonna hold a bunch of slime above Anna's head all together in a circle. Then we're gonna pull it apart, try to create a bubble in the air, and then pull it down on top of her. I trust you guys. Three, two, Wait, one. Gotta go slow. It's an opposite bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Almost! No! Almost! <laughs> <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. It's time to get serious. Here we go. Here we you go. You got this, guys. You got yeah. this. Oh, oh. Hey, that kind of worked. That was pretty good, but we needed to stand for at least a second for it to count. What does it feel like? It feels like this cold monster is just consuming me more and more every second. <laughs> We're gonna pull the slime bubble all the way out, but I think that's the key. Up as a team and down, down as, as a team. team. Up as a team, down Whoa! as a team. Almost. Oh! I'm glad I have glasses. This would have been terrifying. We're not giving up yet. You got this, guys. Come on. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, you guys did it! success, so let's move on to our next experiment. So for this next experiment, we're gonna see what happens when we mix Diet Coke and Mentos with slime. But first, we need to make a Diet Coke-infused slime. The first thing we need to do is pour glue into our mixing bowl. Get in there. All right, we added our glue. It's time to add the Coke. All right, we're good. Pour! Whoa, it's already getting super fizzy. I've actually never had Diet Coke before. <gasps> Try it. It's so good. I'll try it with you. Ah, it's so good. It's like warm and kind of gross. It's so crispy. All right, it's time to add our activator. I don't know how much we need. What do you think, Christian? We need to let it mix first okay, before okay. we add any activator. Let's whip up our slime. It is looking like it is fully incorporated together. Now we can actually add our activator. We'll feel that it's like Whoa. thick. Oh. Whoa, it feels yeah. so weird. Ah! <laughs> now, let's add some activator. We have this massive cup that we're gonna use. Scoop some activator. And pour that baby in there. In. Let's mix it up. The slime is now done, and we definitely made the world's first Diet Coke slime. Smell test. Ooh, I can smell the Coke. I'm gonna be honest, I just smell glue. <laughs> but we're not testing whether you can make a Coke slime. We're testing to see what happens if we add Mentos into this Coke slime. Let's add a bunch of Mentos to it. Uh, oh, that did nothing. I think we should like mix it into the slime. Yeah, yeah mix it, mix it in. Okay. Give it a good old mix in there, you know. I can hear it sizzling a little bit, but let's mix it up and see what happens. Nothing is happening. The Mentos is not incorporating with our slime. So we're gonna add more Coke to it to see if that can speed up the reaction. We're adding a little razzle dazzle. And that Ooh. seems to be enough. So even though we added another bottle of Coke, nothing happened. But you know what? That's science. And sometimes science experiments fail. But we did also make the world's first Coke slime and it does happen to be diet, so that is a success. Let's move on to the next experiment. For this next slime experiment, we're gonna be trying thermochromic pigment. I have three colors to choose from and each one changes to two different colors based on the hot side and the cold side. This one is like a dark green to lime color. So I'm gonna be putting a little bit of this blue on this side, a lot more on this side. Let's mix it into our slime. And so far, it looks really pretty. Now that we have our slimes mixed up, let's get our elements. For the hot side, we have a heat gun. Ooh! Guys, I'm already starting to see the slime change. It's already starting to shift to this like lime green, almost yellow color. Yep, that's for sure working. So this one right here just has the pigment in it. You can already see that it 100% works. It's too hot, so I can't really play with it. But I'm excited to see what happens to the cold side. For the cold side, we have dry ice. I'm using special gloves for this and I can still feel the cold dry ice through the gloves. Let's see if I can break it apart. 
Ooh, that's not a good idea. Thanks to Dan, I got this special tool, and I'm gonna try to chop this up in half. Ready? Whoa! Ah, it's so cold! All right, now that I chopped up the dry ice, let's add it to our slime. Ready? Whoa. It's like a witch's potion. I feel like I need to do a spell of some kind. Without these gloves, I wouldn't be able to touch this. I would literally freeze my fingers off. Whoa, look at that, look at that bubble. Oh my God. Okay, so we covered the dry ice with the slime and oh, look how colorful it looks. Wow, that was beautiful. This has been my favorite part of all the experiments. Look how beautiful this is. Slime science at its peak. Wow, didn't change the color. All it really did is it just kind of incorporated into our slime and made it really hard. There's just these layers of ice mixed to our slime and I can't get it out. I wonder if the base color of these pigments is the cold version of this color changing experiment because so far only the hot side changed, but this looked really awesome. Whoa! For this next experiment, we're gonna test out and see if slime can protect an egg from breaking. We have four slimes here, a Bingzu, Cloud Dough, Memory Butter, and Clear Slime. My prediction is that the Clear Slime will protect the most because it's a little squishy, but let's find out. All right, we're gonna start off with the Bingzu. Ah! Whoa! Okay, so it did protect, but then it just bounced off and broke. So it half works. We want something that will cushion the egg, and it just bounced off, so Bingzu, not it. Cloud dough is very dense, so I feel like it might work. <gasps> it worked! Oh, I really thought that it was just gonna bounce off again, but that worked. Let's test out the memory butter. Oh, it cracked on the cloud dough. Memory butter is also too bouncy. We don't want the bouncy stuff. I think that clear slime will do the trick. Ready? That was perfect! Honestly, from all of these slimes, the clear slime was the best one. It was the most cushiony for the egg. I kind of want to test out something else. Let's get rid of the bins, get some slime, and enclose the egg and drop it on the floor and see what happens. Okay, I have this blob of clear slime. I'm gonna enclose the egg, cover it up. Okay, ready? All right, I'm gonna throw it from really up high and see if the egg breaks or if this clear slime is protective enough. Oh, it's not. <laughs> Look at that, what a mess. To be honest, I did kind of slam it. Slime can be protective unless you're too aggressive. <laughs> Let's move on to the next experiment. For this experiment, we're gonna see if a smoke grenade can dye slime. Ah! Oh, close it up, close it up. All right, seal. Okay, all right. simmer in there for a bit. And my prediction is that it's gonna work. I hope that it doesn't make our faces blue <laughs> once we <laughs> pull up this lid. Ready? All right. ah. oh. Whoa! That's epic! So epic, but to get a better look at it, let's box it up and take it inside. All right, here it is. Whoa. Whoa. It smells terrible. I think, <laughs> I think we should mix it up a bit, do some hand presses. Whoa, All right, ready? push that hand in there. It's kind of hot. Like this part right here, it's still hot. hot. Right? It's like hot. You feel it? It's really oh, warm. Oh yeah. What the heck? It's still warm. It's still warm. Oh, it is. Whoa. It looks like it's just this kind of top layer. Oh yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. I like here. If you move it around like this, you get like the smoke up. Yeah. No. The more that we mix it in, it's literally like a pigment. It does work. And to be fair, this slime is very overactivated. I think. That's true. It definitely made the slime a little bit harder. It's like it burnt it. Yeah. That's bit. so yeah. weird. Yeah. But check out this layer right here. It's like this really strange. Oh, it smells skin. so funky. It's like a toasted slime. Definitely working like a pigment, but a very weak pigment. You can see it's not dying it too much, but it is technically working. Now, this final light blue color is so much lighter than this first dark color that we expected it to be, but it did still technically dye it. All right, so I guess you can dye slime with a smoke grenade. That's it for today's experiments. Make sure to leave a like and comment what other experiments I should try. See you guys next week.